Okay, I'm just taking some measurements for the new door we're gonna get installed here. Welcome back, by the way. Thanks for joining us. The type of door we're gonna put in is, uh, it's a collapsible one. It's a- Accordion, that's like what an, I call them. An accordion door. Look, I, for some reason, I wanna say xylophone. <laughs> What's a xylophone? That's that's the little ding 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 dings. <laughs> okay, accordion door. We know um, our musical instruments around here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty bad. Anyway, the plan is to close in about the first 18 inches right here, and then that door will attach to this side of a two by four. We're gonna frame it out with two by fours. I gotta rip them down to three inches. Eh, two and seven eighths, it looks like. Yep. So I gotta rip them down a little bit, throw a piece of plywood in. Should be pretty easy. Go pretty quick. With my sunglasses on, this stuff is getting in my eyes like crazy. It's not tight enough. I got the goggles out. Thing we're not building a cabinet or this wouldn't fly a little bumpy here and there let's see it's mostly straight but you can see some spots oh right there and right there right there <laughs> but it'll work for what we're doing i won't tell anybody either it'll match the trailer pretty good <laughs> Yeah, there if you go. Not, this is going to really improve the vibe in there. <laughs>
Hopefully this fits the first try. What do you think? Yes. I'm feeling positive. I'm glad someone is. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I tell you? Hold on. We're not there yet. <laughs> oh, did I get it? Ah, like a glove. That's not bad considering this is way out of square. <laughs> like the top corner is square, the bottom is way out of square, so I, I had to cut accordingly. Mm. So. Slide right and look at that. Almost. There it goes. I cut it a little short, but that's okay. It's looking like a little doorway. Yeah. Mom. It's looking awesome. Um, can you help me with the brownies now? <laughs> <laughs> Those are very important, you know. You should help him before you help me. I know, right? Some people around here survive on brownies. Who, me? <laughs> yes, you. Couldn't be. our new door. Spectrum via folding door. Okay, so we've got our xylophone door here. And the nice thing... What? <laughs> Accordion. Did I say xylophone? Yes, okay. you didn't even know? Okay, accordion door. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. We have our accordion door here, and the nice thing about this, uh, well, first off, it comes in 80 inches, but in the instructions, it says you can cut it. If your opening is shorter and uh, you need to cut this down, you can. It's basically just plastic, and it says to use the a hacksaw, but I'm gonna try it out with the skill saw. I got it taped up with some masking tape to hold it together. We're gonna chop it, and it should be the right size, and it'll be almost done. We'll slip this in, we're almost there. So in the instructions, there's a reason why they tell you to use a hacksaw. I just figured out. <laughs> it's because no matter how slow you go with your skill saw, for some reason, it's still going to chip. Uh, it's, uh, it's small. It's a couple of them. Anyway. We'll never notice. Don't, uh, don't catch your toe on that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. And in case you guys are wondering, this door is 45 bucks is all this is. So good for a 24 to, was it 36 inch yep. opening? Yep. 24 to 36. We made our opening about 30. Cheapest thing, cheapest way to go. Other than, I guess, making it out of plywood, right? Hmm. But... That would probably warp. Yeah, that's what you were worried about. Yeah. All right. See? The xylophone. <laughs> it's an accordion, darn it! Oh, man. We need to turn this back. Then we'll put our screws back. How about that? 
genius. It wasn't my idea. Oh, it wasn't? It was in the instructions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> here I was thinking you. Oh, yes, I... So clever. Totally. <laughs> Xylophone. <laughs> You need to squeeze it really hard. <sighs> kind of a weird install, but that's how those go on. <laughs> nice. At the top of the hill. We're trying to make a volcano. A volcano? Yeah. You're pretty far away from the four wheeler trailer. No. No. Slow and steady, huh? You're gonna get filled up? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck to you. Oh, thank you. The biggest snake we've seen on our property is this guy here. And I want to say this is the same snake I saw last year in our shed. He's pretty long. And he's pushing four foot long right there. Is so cool. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. What kind of snakes are these, hun? You're the expert. I'm not the expert. What did we decide? Bull snakes? Is that what they're called? We believe it's a bull snake. And we've seen several of them so far this year. This is this is the first time we've seen the big one again. He hung, he hung around like all last summer, but uh, let's see, he's the fourth one, if I'm counting right in my head. All the other ones I've seen were hanging out on the road. They like to hang out on the road and uh, get toasty, I guess. But the biggest one hangs out right around our place, which is uh, great for the mice. Yeah. <laughs> They're not poisonous. Venomous? Sorry, yeah, they're not venomous. He likes it here. 
So we let him stay just like we let uh, these guys stay. Th this guy right here, we'll, we let him hang around. And, yeah, I'm not uh, venomous. We, we got to keep this one here. What would we do without that cutie patootie? That cutie patootie of a princess. <laughs> and of course, Eli. I we can't get rid of Eli. There he is. Even if we tried. He's, uh, oh, I don't know, what, it, what would it be like without a supervisor around mm -hmm. here? Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Eli, did you see the snake over here? It's right here. Come here, it's a big one. Where is he? See him right there. Oh, that's... that's a big one. Yeah. Okay, run up and give him a hug. You want to pick him up? Look at him, he's on his way to the rock wall that's right there. He knows where the food's at. Oh, he went over that branch. He just lifted it. What in the world? Why did he go over the branch? Feels good on his belly. He's got he needs a belly rub. He's so silent. Silent but deadly. Ish. Is it over? I think so. Whew. It has been a very busy couple of days. We've just, we hardly filmed anything. <laughs> We've been really focused on getting this tank buried uh, and this part of the trench pretty much done. I couldn't have done it without the kids though. Holy cow, they were a good help. I had them filtering dirt through the screen to go over the pipe. And I had the bigger boys helping me with the backhoe to pick out the bigger rocks as we uh, dumped it in around and on top of the the tank here with the four-wheeler and the four-wheeler trailer. You should, you should see how much rock we pulled out of the dirt that we put in here. You should show them the rock pile we made. Sure. Come look at this rock pile. Here it is. This is like, this is all rock, solid rock. <laughs> Basically behind Natalie here, I would slowly dump the, the dirt and as the rocks would appear before they fall into the little trailer, we'd pick them out and bring them over here. That's a lot of nasty rock, <laughs> but it's done, which is great. I am ready for the next project. What's the next project? The road. It is. The road. Is it? <laughs> That's the point. Well, I had to think for a second. Oh. Okay. So the road is next. We're going to gravel our road. We're going to haul it with our trailer. And we're going to use that rake that I made to pull it out. 
and it's I think it should go pretty quick you know the I think the most time consuming part will be emptying the trailer which is like 20 25 minutes a load but it's a long driveway so stay tuned to see how long that driveway is we'll uh we'll figure out how long it is we'll measure it and we'll see how many yards it takes i'm guessing like 35 what's your guess i'll go with 40 40 yards yep 40 versus 35 okay guys stay tuned you don't want to miss uh who's right and who's wrong <laughs> <laughs> is it bedtime yet pretty close the sun's down <laughs>